My name is Dave Rapini. I'm the Plant PX Global Business Manager. My responsibility is to make sure we deliver more quality products in the Plant PX DCS solution for Rockwell Automation. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the 520 release. The 520 release expands the capability of the Plant PX 5.0 core and delivers more functionality for our end users. One of the first things in this 520 release to talk to you about is expanding the function block capability inside the process controller. We've added more library objects embedded inside firmware that drives consistency of the deployment and provides more simplified building blocks for you to assemble a project rather than having to do custom code to create it. That means the maintenance of the control system is much easier because the blocks are standard reusable content. Maintenance people understand what they're going to see and you don't have to worry about an engineer going rogue and going into some other areas with his, his coding activities. Another capability in the 520 release is Sequence Manager. And Sequence Manager provides ability for you to run an operation on a skid on a single small controller solution and provide that phasing and sequencing model to be able to execute locally on that one piece of equipment. It gives OEMs capability to have standalone content that can just run in that skid, but also allows it to integrate very seamlessly into a larger batch application if a larger batch application is in your needs. So that means the sequences and the phases that that OEM would have to create easily migrate up into the batch offering and is easily reused in that space. I'd also like to talk to you about the, one of the biggest things in this 520 release is the Flex HA 5000 I.O. product. This is a fully redundant I.O. product with fully redundant backplanes, comms infrastructure, um, power supplies, provides that stability and that robustness that our process customers expect to have a system that has no downtime. Um, it has simplified failover, so if one of the I.O. cards fails, it takes care of all of that content for you with no custom code to worry about which I.O. channel is up. Each individual channel is fully configured to be able to be an analog in, an analog out, a digital in, a digital out, or a hard in and hard out. So universal I.O. software configured allows a lot more flexibility in how you wire the content together as well as gives you more flexibility in the spares. So instead of having to have a lot of spares as far as different types of modules and inventory, it lets you have a single card that can be reconfigured by channel to solve those needs. It also lets you do content around um, being able to have capacity on-prem in the rack. So a lot of specs require you to have 20% extra capacity for expansion on digital or analog. Um, instead of having to have duplication of that I.O., it allows you to keep a smaller footprint and use universal cards to meet the requirements around the spare capacity.